very very special spot to me so a lot of you guys that have been following along know my buddy birch and he unfortunately passed away last april and this was one of the last spots me and him ever hunted archery together so it's a really special spot i honestly don't really like coming back in here just because it makes me pretty sad just coming back in the spots with him without him but i figured i need to go and blast this spot a few times this year just to see if i can't find a giant in this country it is some gnarly gnarly stuff like some of the worst stuff in this whole unit there's been giants killed out of this area that i know of and when me and my buddy hunted it the one year i saw a freaking giant probably close to 200 and then a buck that is well over 190s so they're 100 percent in here i know there's really really big deer but it's just almost impossible to hunt we've hunted it like i said one year and honestly gave up just because there's not that many deer and the deer that are in here are always really big and really really smart <laughs> so it's a really hard place to hunt but i figured i might as well come and glass it a few times this year but welcome back to another hunt preparation video i really appreciate you guys' support on the last few videos and yeah nothing's new just honestly just going to film this whole thing until the hunt happens just to hopefully show you guys that hard work pays off I got a good workout in right before this and still made it a three mile hike in here and I'm just going to grind. I'm just really trying to find happiness again because obviously losing your best friend sucks ass. It honestly makes you kind of get in a weird little spot in your life that you just don't want friends and the friends that you have you just honestly kind of distance yourself just because you don't care enough to want to hang out. But that just got really deep but I just wanted to let you guys know if you guys ever need anything DM me on Instagram big time crit and I'd love to talk to you about anything and I'm serious about that I just truly don't want to come off as just a guy trying to make money off of hunting doing all this bullshit I do not care about the money I'm doing this because I absolutely love it and it's my dream and at a young age I've always decided this is my dream and this is what I want my future to look like so I'm just working towards that every single day of my life and if you guys have a dream chase that some bitch because it ain't gonna chase you back like that song says so let's get to glassing whip out the binos and yeah the alpine tripod company is coming out with that super lightweight tripod so stay tuned in the next few videos and i'll give you a breakdown of that video of that tripod but this tripod i've been using is a really good one it's just obviously pretty big compared to my exo pack and it's a really amazing tripod for shooting with guns or kind of a truck tripod but it is on the heavier side but that's why they're coming out with a super super lightweight one called the wildcat so stay tuned for the next few videos been glassing for just a little second in spots that i normally see the deer when i have seen them in the past and i'll put up the video right now of the two big deer that i've seen in here and all that stuff with my buddy birch so that's what amazing this looks like right there Got me nice beard, old son. I've always wanted a beard. But, okay, we're gonna... I found a buck, and I was struggling to find it again. But, not a big deer. But I'm honestly never been so happy to see a little three-point in my life. It's truly been really hard to even find deer. And I finally found me a little three-point in this basin and we still have quite a bit of glassing to do, but I found him a little while ago. I just could not relocate him with my spotting scope, but we got the all in, getting some video of it right now. Nothing big at all, but like I said, it just gets me happy. I just love seeing deer. It really does re-motivate you by a lot.
been a minute since I was filming last and I just had a really really cool thing kind of happen I've never seen this before but there's four little pup coyotes that are just down in this basin just playing around having fun it's honestly really cool seeing that I've never seen that before if I'm being honest I don't know how many deer I'm gonna see tonight just because there's a lot of coyotes obviously <laughs> It is so funny watching them play. I wish I had that much energy and that much happiness. Sadly, I don't, but it kind of does give me happiness just watching these freaking things. Super successful night though. Saw one buck, that, those coyotes, and now one bull elk. Definitely no shooters or anything, but it just really, really does get me excited to at least see some stuff. And I'm sure it gets you guys excited that I'm finally seeing some stuff just because hopefully it motivates you guys to want to get out and become the best version of yourself. Put everything away, hike out of here, and go from there. <laughs>